What's up, guys? Welcome back to Mr. C's Corner. It is Wednesday, May 20th, Blue Chip Day. That's right, we are listening to Led Zeppelin today. What better way to end these Blue Chip Days than with Led Zeppelin? Um, and you know what the outro is going to be. Uh, anyway, so today we're going to con uh, continue with the consumer discre uh, discretionary sector of the stock market, and we're going to discuss the Home Depot. Um, yes, those big orange uh, box stores, that's the Home Depot. We are talking about them, and yes, they are in the Dow Jones. Uh, the Home Depot Inc. is the largest home improvement retailer in the U.S., supplying tools, construction products, and services. Um, it actually operates uh, those big box store formats all across the U.S., all the U.S. territories, Canada, and Mexico. And I was actually diving into it, and they are venturing off into other countries as well. Um, but anyway, as of October of 2019, uh, they have about 2,285 of those big box stores. It's a lot. Uh, compared to about 2,000 uh, with Lowe's. So a little bit more than Lowe's, but roughly about the same. Um, but uh, some of the things that they do offer, like those products, some of the brands that they offer, right? We're talking about brands, going back to yesterday's episode. Uh, some of the brands that they offer are ChemDry, which is a carpet cleaner, Bare Paints, Home Light, which is outdoor and power tools, Ryobi and Rigid, which is power tools, uh, American Woodwork, Carpentry, and its own house brands. The most notable one is Husky, which is tools. Uh, so a lot of tools, right? I mean, I think I think a lot of you have been in the Home Depot. If you haven't, go check it out. Um, obviously, be careful during this time. But, um, but I was actually doing a lot of research on the Home Depot, uh, as I always do on these blue chip days. And I stumbled across something really cool. Um, fun fact, the Home Depot actually has a mascot and its name is Homer D. Poe. So Home Depot, Homer D. Poe. Um, and they, they actually set this up as a charity for uh, its, its staff. It's a staff that they have. So it's an in-house charity that they have set up. Anyways, moving on, let's go and actually dive into the financials of the Home Depot. Uh, in October of 1999, the Home Depot, Intel, Microsoft, right? We already talked about them. And SBC Communications replaced Chevron, Goodyear, Sears, Roebuck, and Union Carbide uh, in the Dow Jones. So your first question, as we all know, you're going to put it on Schoology, is why was the Home Depot, Inc. added to the Dow Jones in 1999? Don't just say they're big. Give some kind of explanation. Uh, not that hard. Anyway, so uh, the Home Depot, Inc. encompasses about 6.17% of uh, the Dow Jones. Uh, now, I'm going to read what the consumer, uh, uh, consumer discretionary sector is because um, we did talk about it last week. I'm going to briefly hit on some things because uh, I really want uh, to really dive into the home improvement sector of the, the, the uh, consumer discretionary sector, the sub sector. Um, so anyway, consumer discretionary is a term given to goods and services that are considered non-essentials, right? Uh, by consumers, but desirable if their available income is sufficient to purchase them. Um, so, right, we know what essentials are and we need them to live, but these are non-essentials, but people still figure, hey, I still need this in my life, uh, but it all depends on my budget, right? On my, uh, you know, my own personal budget. Uh, includes durable goods in the consumer discretionary. Includes durable goods, apparel, entertainment, and leisure, and automobiles. Included in that is home improvement. Um, the purchase of consumer discretionary goods is also influenced by the state of the economy, which can affect consumer confidence, right? If people aren't making a lot of money, maybe they're not going to spend as much on the consumer discretionary, but that doesn't get as impacted uh, than, uh, uh, that, uh, than other sectors in regards to like buying stuff for individual people. Anyway, consumer discretionary sector, it, it encompasses about $5 trillion market cap, right? We talked about that last week uh, and it has those 11 sub industries. I'll name them again. Uh, auto components, automobiles, uh, distributors, diversified consumer services, hotels, restaurants and leisure, household durables, internet and direct marketing, retail, leisure products, multi-line retail, specialty retail, and last one is textiles, apparels, and luxury goods. 
So then I was thinking to myself, okay, where does the Home Depot really lie in all that? And I had to do some digging. I had to really uh, look at uh, those sub industries. And uh, I actually found out that the Home Depot is in the specialty retail sector, which amounts for about $657 billion market cap. Um, so instead of really comparing Home Depot with its competitors in the market cap, because I think I think we can kind of guess what the their home uh, their uh, competitors are Lowe's and Ace. Um, I mean, you could throw Walmart in there, but in Amazon, but you could throw Walmart and Amazon in with anyone. Um, but I really so I really was looking at the home improvement uh, industry, and some statistics really stood out to me, and I'm gonna relay them to you. Um, but first. Uh, so I stumbled upon that website, and in 2018, there was actually actually uh, $394 billion in sales for home improvement. And before COVID-19 economy, or the corona economy, the, uh, the home improvement sector was looking to expand. So from $394 billion to about $450 plus billion in sales. Uh, so um, it's growing, right? Obviously. People are buying more houses. People are living longer, so they're staying in their houses, so they have to improve their houses when stuff is breaking down. Uh, I'll get into why people like go into home, uh, go into home improvement uh, projects on their own. But first, stores. I'm going to mention the stores again. Home Depot, right? There's 2,285. There's a lot. Lowe's, 2,002, or to right, right around 2,000 uh, stores. Uh, and Ace. This one, not really surprising, but it kind of surprised me. I feel like I see Ace hardware stores a lot there are 5,253 ace hardware stores it's a lot a lot of stores um but now let's look at their net income different than uh sales but let's look at uh, their net income net income for home depot 108 billion dollars so they have 2,285 stores and of those stores uh, the net income uh 108 million lows 71 billion so a little bit less step le step down and then ace if you think Ace was going to be up there with them because they have so many stores, it's not the case. Uh, they amount their net income was about five point seven billion dollars. So um, there's a lot of factors that go into that. Obviously, I mean Home Depot reputation and all that stuff, brand, brand loyalty, uh, etc. So, so going back to it, uh, why are people renovating their homes? So I actually found this awesome resource and I found out why. Um, top three reasons: they have money to do so or the means to do so. Of the people that were polled, 57% of people said that's the reason why they improved their homes. They have actual money to do it. Uh, so that's one. Uh, they want to customize their new home um, or customize certain features of their home. Uh, and the last one is uh, repairing any kind of damage to their home. So what are people purchasing? So, right, they're, they're improving their homes. What are they purchasing when they go in? Number one, shockingly, not really that shockingly, paint, right? Paint's number one. Um, that's one of their big things for Home Depot. If you ever go to a Home Depot or even a Lowe's or Ace, that's a big po uh, portion of their store is paint. Light fixtures is number two. And the third one is faucets. So it's a lot. Um, really cool. Uh, so the, the question is, why? Why is, why is Home Depot leading the way in home improvement? So your second question is, what do you think sets Home Depot apart from its competition? Uh, right, you're going to put this, uh, your response on uh, Schoology. Anyway, that is the last blue chip for the school year. Um, hope everyone enjoyed these. Uh, you got to let me know if you did. Check out the bell ringer. Um, it is found in the about uh, section of this video. And I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to continue with our lesson. And yes, this is Stairway to Heaven. This is the outro. Listen to this song. If you're going to do any of my homework, listen to this song. It is great. Um, no, but actually do your homework for real, for real. Anyway, listen to Stairway to Heaven. That's the Home Depot. I'll see you tomorrow for Throwback Thursday. Deuces.